so if you're watching this video, chances are you have a level truck and it rides like crap because you cranked up the torsion keys. Well, I'm about to show you how to fix that problem and how to make your truck ride a lot smoother. Alright, so now that you got your truck in the shop, if you have access to a lift, I would highly suggest using it. But um, once you put the truck on the lift, you always want to shake it back and forth, see if it'll fall. Actually, not fall. But uh, put the truck on the lift, and then go on up with it. Alright guys, the first step that you want to do when you're fixing your uh, leveling kit on your truck is uncrank your torsion keys if you crank them up, which is probably why you clicked on this video is because you cranked up your torsion keys and your truck rides like shit. Uncrank your torsion keys or else you will result in problems later down the road. Let's go ahead and take off your wheels. Remember guys, always eye protection, ear protection, and make sure you're wearing the proper footwear. kind of work. All right, I forgot to mention before, but you guys are want to get you're gonna want to get yourself a nice pair of shocks. I got some Bilstein 5100s, and then a nice pair of heavy-duty upper control arms. Um, just for reference, mine's a 2012 2500 HD, but I got some Cognito upper control arms. I heard some good things about this. And if you can see here, these are a lot more heavy duty than the stock ones. And basically what we're doing with these is these are gonna increase your droop travel. So if you cranked up your torsion bars, you decrease your droop travel a lot, which is why it rides so rough. And these right here are your torsion bars and you crank them up from right here. So basically it's a free lift, but I got some aftermarket torsion keys on this. Um, but yeah, my trucks just ride so rough and I had to fix it. So I found myself some upper control arms and we're going to fix this. So if your upper control arms did not come with an alignment tool, that's here. And you want to mark where it is. Because if you don't have um, aftermarket ones, you're not going to know where to put them. And we're going to have to reuse them too. That way your alignment's not off when you put it back together. So we're putting marks. You can't really see because the light is so bright. But there we go. I'm going to put marks where it was and then reinstall those when we put in the new ones. We want to take out all these clips because they're going to be in the way when you're working on your front end. And the first thing, that's the first thing you want to do. And then the next thing is you're going to want to loosen this nut here. Alright guys, we're actually going to take off the shock first because it's going to be a little bit easier to work around. We're gonna have to get to this bolt back there, but the shock's kind of in the way and we're replacing it anyway, so we're gonna take this shock off first, so go ahead and do that. Ah! Alright guys, we got the shock out. Now we're gonna work on the upper control arm. All right, so the next thing you're gonna do once you guys take off this nut is take off this bushing. Now, you're gonna need this special tool or you can use forks. I'll show you the forks in a second. Um, but basically, that's just gonna push it up and out. And it's gonna be a lot easier than using forks. Okay. If you have this tool, I would definitely recommend using this. as a lot easier. Over there, the pickle grabbers or whatever they call them. There's also probably a right one for this procedure in particular. Well, yep. But that gets it out. That does get it out. All right, well, let's just go ahead and take off this control arm while we're here. They're gonna be very tight, so you're gonna need a lot of muscles. If you find a friend named Nick, and then you'll be 
gonna be good. All right, so we got this one out. And then you wanna get that one as well. All right, so we got the upper control arm out and the shock. Now we're gonna do some work on this one. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is install these new bushings in the new upper control arms. Of course, you wanna grease it up real nice and good so it slips right in. That's a color. Either way, once you put it in with your hands, probably gonna wanna use a C-clamp just to push them all the way in together. That's good. Right? New bushings in on this side. Then we're gonna need some more grease for this side to put these ones in. Right. Go ahead and put in the other side. The next step is once you get hot enough, go outside. Make yourself a pool in the back of a truck. Dip your head in. Because it feels good. Alright, so next we're actually installing the control arms. So the marks that we did earlier, we're going to line them up as best as possible. So the way that, that moves, there's a little line. If y'all look in here, see how that's not just a perfect hole? There's like a little oval to it. When you turn these, it'll kind of shift it, and that's where we want to be. So if I pull it forward, see how it moves up, but if I push it back, and that all changes your camber, or your cat, I don't know. Want a camber or a caster? It's definitely not toe, but I just don't do enough work on that kind of stuff. Go ahead and install this other bolt on the other side. You want to make sure you're keeping them separate too. You don't want to get the two bolts mixed up. Next, put in your shock, and if you don't have one of these this is a little shock extender they're like 30 bucks maybe i got one off of xdp they came with my uh, leveling keys but you're gonna want go ahead put those on because you're gonna need them I mean, this is gonna look nice this does most things when you spend money on them instead of you know yeah 20 keys and 20 dollars spacers uh my keys and my spacers was about 110 um, this whole setup here with the Billistine 5100s and the Cognito uh, upper control arms put me at right around $700. And with the torsion keys and the little spacer, he had his core support rattle loose, his fuel filter rattle loose, yes. and just the overall terrible ride. Felt like you are on a dirt road yes. all the time. So I, I would suggest if you're going to you know, level your truck, do it correctly the right way. So you're going to want to go ahead and put in your new bushing that Hopefully your new upper control arms came with. If your uh, upper control arm did not come with new bushings, you're going to want to go ahead and get yourself some just to save yourself in the long run. Guys, once you get your castle nut in, um, you're going to want to go ahead and put this bottom shock mount in. And for the castle nut here, you are going to have to play with your suspension quite a bit, but you know, you'll figure it out. But yeah, moving on from that onto the shock. And then this side's done. All right guys, to put in this bottom shock mount, you're gonna wanna lift up your hub again. And guys, that is this side. Bye. This side is done. Sweet. Okay guys, so we got this side in. And for the other side, it is literally the same exact thing. So I'm just gonna set you guys down over here and we're just gonna do a time lapse of taking all this stuff off and installing it all. So we're done with this side too and that took about three times less the amount of time that it took on this side. And that is because the CV axle on the other side popped out when we were doing it. So that was kind of a pain in the butt. And then our brake line over here spilled all over the ground when we took that off to put the CV axle back in. So we're gonna do a quick, uh, gonna bleed the system on the right side of my truck. And then uh, take it for a test drive, maybe crank up the torsion keys again since we cranked them all the way down. 
and then see how it rolls. So once you put your wheels back on, we're gonna put this truck back down on the ground. Yeah. All right, so you're gonna wanna get a measuring tape, measure the front. What is it? That's my stock ride height. Yeah, and then measure the back, because <laughs> you're gonna go off what the back is. So what is it there? One inch difference. Okay, so we crank it up an inch. That makes sense though, because those are bigger upper control arms, so um, they should give me a little bit of height. All right guys, so the next step is going under your truck with it on the ground and cranking up your torsion keys because you want to leave it on the ground so that the whole truck is level and you get the correct measurement while you're going up. And it is not a 19. I need another socket. So here's the torsion key right here. And you're just gonna crank up this bolt, making it tight, and that will crank up the torsion bar. Right there? Yep. All right, guys, got the first one, now we're gonna do the other side. Good. Huh? Good. Okay. All right, guys, and that is it. Now we're gonna take it on a test drive to see how smoother it actually is. Uh, and I have to come out from under my truck first. All right, guys, we are gonna go for the first drive. It's a lot better. You know that's pretty bumpy? Yeah, that is pretty bumpy because that's, that's just the back of my shop. There's just Potholes. Yeah, but you can feel how smooth that is. Instead of like hitting you like this, it's hitting you like. It's still it's, hitting you. We're gonna go for a ride in my truck. It's more like it's squeezing you rather than banging you. It feels way better, guys. I definitely suggest that you do this if your truck is leveled and it rides like crap. Get yourself a set of Shake upper control set. arms. Get yourself a pair of new shocks, and it will be all good. All right, guys, so rides a lot smoother. It's great quality stuff. Again, I got Billistine 5100s and Cognito open control arms. And I even had a, haven't hit a main road yet, but back there behind my buddy's shop, it's pretty bumpy and it rides pretty smooth now. So if you guys have a level truck and you want it to ride smoother, go ahead, buy yourself a nice expensive pair of upper control arms. You know, normally the more expensive you go, the better the quality. Uh, mine were about $515 for the upper control arms. And the two pairs of Billistine shocks were about 180 about. So, hope you guys learned something from this video. Um, to those guys that clicked on this video because their truck rides like crap because they cranked up their torsion keys. This is how you fix it. This is how you make your truck ride a lot smoother. Um, and then when you go ahead and get those upper control arms and those Billistine shocks or whatever kind of shocks you want to get, you know what video to come to right here on how to install it. At least if you have a 2012 2500 HD like myself. But yeah, guys, thanks for tuning into the channel and you guys have a great night.